We have the latest update on the lobbying scandal in Parliament as another Tory MP has been caught influencing the Prime Minister while making money. The absolute state of British politics and our parliamentarians these days, it's embarrassing. So, this is about another MP who has used his platform to influence power at the same time, make some money on the side. And apparently this is normal behavior. It's also a little bit illegal, but, or against the rules, let's just say. This is a uh, Bim Afalami, the Tory MP who has actually uh, been running a group in parliament calling for the prime minister to overhaul the UK's regulatory system. Now, he is actually in getting paid £2,000 a month uh, while being part of WPI strategy. Now, this firm has been paying him £2,000 a month uh, to help them influence power. Now, MPs are not allowed to get paid uh, as a second job or outside to then obviously influence policy that could make money for their clients. That's just not really the right thing to do. But you've got, you've got actual public affairs companies that do the lobbying to get in front of policy makers to help their clients. That's just normal. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But this is not really a normal behavior. So BIM, Afalami is part of the, uh, is running, actually created and run the regulatory reform group of MPs and uh, they've been leading this movement to make some changes and he actually released a statement he actually said I, I can defend myself I can defend my position he actually said that I spend uh, two days a month in my capacity as uh, the chair of the regulatory reform group uh, this is an independent group of parliamentarians who have come together to improve the overarching and um, regulatory framework in the UK so that it boosts consumer outcomes and UK competitiveness. So far, it sounds all right. And then he said that I approached the WPI strategy to help provide a secretariat services to the group, given their experience in running similar initiatives, such as the COVID Recovery Commission. They advised me that uh, the Pension Insurance Corporation, an existing client of theirs, would be able to provide some business insight into the project. I was keen for the group to produce an initial report which the pension insurance corporation kindly agreed to support and indeed wrote a forward to to be clear editorial independence was strictly controlled by the parliamentarians given the time i spent on the project as chair i asked wpi if they would be willing to contribute to my costs which they did i fully declared payment for this however for the avoidance of doubt i've amended my declaration accordingly with the registrar. So if everything was fine, why did you have to feel the urge to amend it? Secondly, if you just come out to say, well, I declared my interest, so everything's fine. No, one one issue is obviously de declaring the interest. The other issue is they shouldn't even be in that position. Thirdly, you ask them to help with your expenses. It's a bit of a cost. I mean, you, you work a few hours to sort that out. Does that really cost that much? I mean, it's absolutely chaotic what we are having right now in Parliament. So this is the latest update on the lobbying culture in Parliament, which is quite toxic at the moment. And we have to completely shake up the system. It's time to drain the swamp of the establishment. And who's willing to do it? Not really sure because power corrupts. And anybody who gets into that position even if they get involved in the first place and say, I'm, I'm actually interested in the, making political reforms, the moment they get into that position and get on that gravy train, then they somehow forget about all the things they said before when they used to be candidates. That's the problem with the system. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media. <laughs>